Well, hello everybody. My name is La Vida Virtual. How are y'all doing today? Let's uh, play a relaxing night of hopefully not rage-filled gameplay. And we got Celeste, and this will be my second go through through the story mode. Don't think I'll worry about too much about um, getting all the strawberries here. Just kind of relaxing, enjoying the game, and all that it entails, which is pretty darn fun. So let's climb, shall we? Start a new game. Begin. I'm not renaming Madeline. No way. Let's do it. This is it, Madeline. Just breathe. Second time playing. Pretty fun. Why are you so nervous? Hmm. Just breathe. Alright, let's get the hang of this again here. It's been a, been a, a couple of days since I've played. Maybe like three or four days, so... Sure, we'll get the hang of it eventually. Hold R2 to climb. And we'll run out of stamina. Play a little bit. And beautiful music in this game. It's absolutely outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Excuse me, ma'am. Could skip these cutscenes. Why not? Listen to them. They're good. The Sino front is busted. Is this the mountain trail? You're almost there. It's just across the bridge. By the way, you should call someone about your driveway. The ridge collapsed and I nearly died. Oh, oh, eh. If my driveway almost did you in, the mountain might be a bit much for you. <laughs> well, <laughs> if an old bat like you can survive out here, I think I'll be fine. Suit yourself. But you should know, Celeste Mountain is a strange place. You might see things. Things you ain't ready to see. You should seek help, lady. <laughs> Run! God, I love the music in this game. Phew. Air dash. Peck, peck. <laughs> whew, whew, she's catching her breath. Let's do it. Let's play. You can do this. Yeah, so, um, probably not going to worry too much about strawberries. Let's just see how much, how enjoyable we can make this. And, uh, have a nice little late night Celeste run and enjoy ourselves tonight, shall we? I think we need to go too crazy. I don't think we need to go too crazy looking for secrets. And getting strawberries. Let's just have fun. Oh man, the music is so good. So good. You can only get those winged strawberries if there's anybody brand new to the game. You can only get those winged strawberries by... ...not using an air dash. First death. First death. First death. Not sure which way we need to go here. Maybe this way? I don't think it really matters. We'll figure it out, huh? We'll figure it out. Oh, <laughs> I probably don't want to do that. It's been a while since I played. So, I'm sure I will, uh... Oh, hey, Theo. What's going on, dude? Oh, there, fellow traveler. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm just going to skip you. As much as you are a pretty funny dude. Mr. Theo, Mr. Selfie Man himself. It's the Selfie Man himself. Mr. Theo. Definitely a secret here. Don't care. I'm just going to go on. We're just going to see how much of the gameplay we can complete in I don't know 
see m how much of the gameplay we can complete in one stream. So, second playthrough, not worried too much about strawberries. Pretty much completed the all the B-sides on our first playthrough. So, Ugh. get dusted. I'm by no means an expert at this, by the way. <laughs> you know, but I'm not. I'm not a super scrub, but I'm not an expert here. If you're looking for a 100% walkthrough, you come to the wrong place. I'm sorry to say. Ah, I could probably just hop over this. Go to the other side. There we go. Beautiful music. One of my favorite things about the game. Not only is the platforming ridiculously addictive, but the music is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Incredible. Okay. Use that to the side there. There's a secret up there. I don't like I said, I'm not gonna worry about getting all the secrets. Not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna have fun and play a little bit. Oh, I'm not sure how that exactly hit me with the spike there, but probably landed on the spike, I guess. Probably landed on it. I'm sure I did. Strawberry. You can't get these unless you don't air dash. So that's always a fun little challenge, extra challenge there. Uh-huh. You can momentum cancel your air dashes as well. Oops, I'm dead. Gotta save my uh gotta save my air dash. There we go. Oops, once again too early. Once again too early. There we go. No problem. No problem. Beautiful. I've seen some people do this on YouTube without taking a single death on each level. I think that's outstanding and incredible. So good on you, mates. Good on you, mates. Good on ya. Phase one. Only like five or six deaths. I don't know. I'm exhausted. Skip the cutscenes. No strawberries at all, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. Still chapter complete. Then Complete. Seven deaths. Okay. Not bad. Not great. Like to get through strawberries and room. But you only collect them if you really want to. And if you want to see the best ending. And if you want to see the best ending. Gotta find all the strawberries, which is pretty crazy. That's definitely one achievement I've yet to unlock. Finding every berry. Halle berry. Halle berry. So we go down here. And we go this way. And we go like that. Uh, like that. I'm starting to ramp up the difficulty a little bit. A little bit. Cutscene. Skip it. Now we can dash through here. Through the magical. <laughs> the void. I don't know. What do you want to call this stuff? What do you want to call this stuff? Strawberry. I don't know if I want to go that way. see if 
this is the correct path over here. Do we need to go up or below? I think it's this way. Yeah. Secret over yonder. Not gonna worry about it. Oh, a strawberry. Huh. Maybe that is the correct way to go. Or not. Let's find out. I doubt it. That that seems like not the way. But who knows? Maybe it is. Maybe this is the correct way. I'm not worrying about secrets right now. I'm just playing through the game, relaxing, enjoying it. Oh, this is the way. Okay. Madeline, darling, slow down. Creeper coming after me. We don't know who she is yet, but we will find out later. Oh, first death of the chapter. Bam, slam, and welcome to the jam. Yeah, beautiful music. Absolutely amazing music. Absolutely amazing music. S. Glass, you missed lots of the playthrough. I still don't know who she is. Uh, no worries, my man. Good to see ya. Um, sorry, I skipped the cutscene there. That's probably going to make it more difficult. For you, I would imagine. <laughs> so, apologies there. We actually got a sort of a difficult section here. Slightly, definitely the most difficult. It's all right. Just get the gist. She is um, our. Uh, how do I describe her? She is our our self, the bad parts of our self that we want to, the insecurities that we face, that we want to try to forgive and forget. But at the same time, we have to kind of like reconcile with, right? Like, she's our insecurities, but she's also the part of us that we still need to, uh, still need to be able to understand. Yeah. Yep. I hope you're doing well, my dude. I'm just playing a little late night Celeste. Second playthrough, enjoying. Enjoyed the first game very much. The first time I played this, enjoyed it very much. Especially, um, especially enjoyed the story. Honestly, some of those B-side challenges that I was doing, maybe a bit much for me. I mean, just super rage-inducing. And these are not easy by any means. That said, at least even though these aren't rage inducing, um, you know, at least there's some good challenge here, you know? At least there's some good challenge here. There's some nice challenge. Something like a twin or something edgy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. Yep. This is our. This is our. The mountain uh, is called Celeste, and the mountain um, is able to draw out our insecurities in order to challenge us and to make us a better person in the long run, which is kind of a crazy thing to think about. So Madeline, our main character, has been going through anxiety, panic attacks, and depression. And she's uh, ended a relationship a little while ago. And, and now she's... Um, and now she's uh, doing this to challenge herself, to try to improve herself as a human being, to tell her 
you know, I'm not a mountain climber, but I can do anything if I put my mind to it. So, yeah. Yeah, it's actually a really cool story. Like, a really cool story. I have to, I actually really do appreciate what they've done with it. She's expecting a hard platformer. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool. And it is a hard platformer, but... Uh, the main storyline, when you first play it, very, very difficult. But you get the hang of it. It's still hard for me, so... Same amount of deaths on chapters 1 and 2, both 7 deaths. It's interesting. Okay, chapter 3. Now, here's where it starts to get spicy. This is definitely the, a difficulty jump here. Uh, the hotel here. Yeah, many, many people rate this game extremely highly. Uh, for that, one of that, one of the reasons is exactly that. A nice combination. Here's where the game starts to get spicy. Sorry, strawberries. I ain't going for you on this playthrough here. I ain't going for you on this playthrough. This is where the game gets a little spicy, and there's um, there's a lot of replay value here too. There are tons of little optional goodies and um, and challenges, as you, as you've seen me do some of those and rage on some of those challenges. There's there's quite a few. And, uh, and, uh, there's also a lot of collectibles. Not only the strawberries, which are, are for, uh, getting the best ending of the game. If you want the best ending, you gotta get all these strawberries. But, also, there are crystal hearts, which you need to unlock the, you need to get all the crystal hearts to unlock the final challenge on the B-sides. And, there are also other little goodies too. In fact, there's a uh, computer version. And there's a little 8-bit version of this game. This is like, I would call more consider like a 32-bit, like SNES sort of level. There's uh, an 8, I don't know if you saw it, there's an 8-bit version of this game also that you can do, which is interesting. So, what's up, Oshiro? Please follow me, Madeline. This guy's a creeper. Super creeper. He's a ghosty. He's very spoopy. Oops. Seeing the PC one, yeah. And when I was a scrub, I mean, I still am kind of a scrub, but when I was extra scrubby at this game, I remember how ridiculous that was. So, yeah. This is just, like I said, this is just a second playthrough, so I'm not going to worry about getting the strawberries here. We're just gonna have fun. He's a ghosty, yeah, he is. He is. I'm just, I'm just here to enjoy the the main campaign because that's the part that I really like about this game, honestly. The uh, <laughs> the uh, optional challenges are very fun, but rage-inducing, my man. Rage-inducing. And hey, Molly's here. What are you doing, awake, my heart? It's so good to see you, Molly. I've never gotten this strawberry yet. I don't think. Actually, I might have once. Yeah, I did. I lied. I, I have gone. How are you doing? So good to see ya. What you doing awake, my dear? I guess it is morning for you over there, isn't it? I guess it is morning. Now that I think about it. just woke up. Oh, you're sweet. Well, thank you for watching. I played a little bit of, uh, I played a little bit of, um, Secret of Mana, and I'm starting to get, I think I got my three main characters. They're adorable. <laughs> They're really cute. Got my three main characters, and I got a bunch of new weapons, and I found a way to upgrade my weapons. It, this, it seems really, really fun. Seems awfully fun.
seems awfully fun. Hello, Oshiro. So I just thought I'd get through. I wanted to see if how long it would take me to beat the entire game without worrying about getting the strawberries or the B-sides. I just wanted to see, not like a speed run necessarily, but you know, just wanted to see how long it would take me to play through the main campaign now that I've beaten almost all of the optional content. I haven't beaten everything yet. I still have one more B-side or two more B-sides to collect, but, and then all the C-sides as well. But I'm pretty much, I'm definitely m close to finished with the, with the optional stuff, I, even though it's so hard. Man, it's so difficult. So I just thought, you know what, let's relax, because this is my fi definitely my favorite part of this campaign. Oh, paper. I think this is where you find the Pico 8. I think. Just curious. Uh, I haven't... I've got three B-sides and I haven't seen any C-sides, but that's the thing. Yeah, so, uh, CS. Welcome back, by the way. Good to see you, mate. Uh, the C-sides are only unlocked once you complete all the B-sides. Should we do this? I've only done this once. God, it's really hard. Should we do this? It's quite difficult. <laughs> I've only done this once. You know what? Let's give it a shot. This is definitely not going to help us in terms of... I might just honestly skip on this content. I think there's only 30 levels, though. What are the B-sides, S-Class? The B-sides are, are very, very difficult versions of this... Uh... The B-sides are very, very, very difficult versions of each of the campaign levels. So there are like eight main levels or seven main levels. And the B-sides are... Very challenging versions of each of those levels. And this is completely optional. This is extra content as well. I don't know if I want to, honestly, if I want to do this right now, but I'm eh, give it a shot. It's kind of fun. It's sort of cool, I'd say. Might as well. We can always quit. If there's a level that really screws with my head. Oh, right. You can't wall cling on this version. I forgot. You can't wall cling. Right, right, right. You can just slide down the walls. Right, right, right. Right. Yeah, so this is just total optional, cool optional content here. Has this game, how angry does it get me? The main campaign, I think, is f hot, very hard but fair. Um, CS, personally. I think the main campaign is very hard, but at least it's challenging, but it's fair. Uh, the... Uh, uh, the B-sides have gotten me ridiculously salty, my man. Like, ridiculously salty. And I don't even want to think about... I don't even want to think about the uh, C-sides. <laughs> I don't even want to think about the C-sides. How do I get up there? Maybe a wall jump here? I, yeah, I don't even know what to do here. Let me think. What do I do here? Maybe I can wall jump off and land on the top there? No, I don't know. Eight hour stream again? I doubt it. And uh, the, one, the reason I don't think it's going to take me eight hours to beat this game, uh, Molly, is because I'm not going to do the B-sides tonight. Hey, you too! I'm just going to relax and enjoy the uh, main campaign. I'm not going to worry about Pico 8 or all that stuff. And I think the main campaign is, as I said, is hard, but I think it's totally fair in comparison to the B-sides. The B-sides are ridiculous, especially the later ones. The early B-sides are fine. 
the later B sides are nuts. Absolutely nuts. I still need. I think I need one more. Oops, that was a mistake. The later. Uh, Isaac after? I think I'm going to save Isaac till tomorrow, but we'll see. I think I'm going to save Isaac till tomorrow. Mr. U2. Hey, you save me. Oh, poor Blue. I don't think I'm going to do strawberries right now, Matt. I don't think I'm going to go for strawberries. I'm sorry. Otherwise, that'll take me. Otherwise, that uh, this this second playthrough will take me a year. <laughs> I still haven't found all the strawberries, although I'm getting a decent amount. I'm getting a decent amount. I've picked up like... Oh, no! Yeah, I've picked up... How many strawberries have I found? Like 103 or something? There's like 175 or something like that. Some, something like that. You can get some. I could if I want to, but I'm not really super, super interested. Maybe. Yeah, we could get a couple. Just for you, my homie. I think I've only picked up two so far in the playthrough. So, <laughs> not, a, not a very large amount. Wish you could stream Hollow Knight. God, I wish I could too. I've been, I've been really wanting to. I'm going to play another night game. I'm going to play... Uh, I want to play... What's that game called? <laughs> I haven't begun cleaning. <laughs> nah, I'm just... Right now, I'm just having fun with uh, the main campaign. Because that this is definitely the best part of the game. I love the optional challenges, though. Don't get me wrong. They're really fun. And really, really hard. That said... I don't. I don't feel like a, a ragey stream tonight. I feel like just enjoying the. I feel like just enjoying the. Uh, the game without having to, go nuts o beans. Wow, that's actually kind of tricky. Hope you understand. Dun, 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 dun. Getting over it. Yeah, exactly. Getting over it. Exactly. That that's actually sort of difficult to get over there. I wonder if this is uh for a B side. I can't remember. There we go. No, nope, doesn't look like it. Yeah. No, we're gonna play Shovel Knight at some point. But I got Secret of Mana very recently. Uh I started playing that today, so I don't think I'm going to start a new LP for a little while. Well, of course. Silly Vita. But who knows? Need to play Getting Over It. Uh, do I... Do I really need to play Getting Over It? What is Secret of Mana? It's a JRPG that came out in 1993 that just got a remaster for uh, PS4. Which is pretty fun. Pretty fun. Silly little game. I like it, actually. I'm having fun with it. So far. But it's not going to be for everybody. If I can beat you to it. No, don't worry about it at all, man. Okay. Bunch of secrets here. Now we go talk to Mr. Oshiro again. Wherever he is. Where are you? Are you not here anymore? No buttons, just moves and rage. Nah, we're, we're alright. We're doing fine. There is Oshiro. We're doing alright. Like I said, the main campaign of this is totally hard, but reasonable. 
Can you show me the exit now? I've cleaned up a lot of your hotel. He's like, no, you are not getting the exit. <laughs> you come to the dark side of the force. And I say, no, I don't want to. You jerk. Getting over it. No. <laughs> yeah, getting over it. Oy. I know what that game is. Yeah, I, I doubt I'll be playing that. Seems absolutely atrocious. Seems absolutely dreadful, my dude. Oops. That was the right idea. Just screwed it up. Just misplayed it. Wall climb, please, Vita. Silly. I'm still no expert at this game, but I mean, as I'm sure it's quite obvious. <laughs> but uh, better than I was. I remember when I played it the first time, it took me hours to beat these first three chapters. I mean, uh, that's not an exaggeration either. It absolutely took me hours. The dark side, we have chocolate chip cookies. Yum, cookies. Yum. Oh, bullarky. <laughs> Malarkey. There we go. What are the Ghostbusters when you need them? I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Where are the Ghostbusters? So good to see you guys. Thank you, Molly and S Glass and Blue. I don't know how long I'm going to stream for tonight. Probably not too long. Another eight hour stream, she says. I hope not. If it takes me eight hours to beat these, uh. If it takes me eight hours to beat these levels, then. What are some Utah dishes? <laughs> we don't really <laughs> have a. Um, we don't really have, like, a designated cuisine, I would say. <laughs> um, like, we have a lot of, I, I am not personally LDS, but we have a lot of uh, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, although you might have heard of them, they're called the Mormons, and they have like their own little cuisine stuff. But what's cool about Utah, mashed potatoes, what's cool about Utah is that we are, uh, just like a lot of parts of the world, we're a mix of many, many, many different cultures. So people... People come to live here from all, from all around the world because we have a lot of scenery. We have a very beautiful state with mountains and deserts and red rock and and uh, and so that brings people from a lot a long long many walks of life. So yeah. So in terms of food, we have a lot of like excellent Mexican food and Latino food. We have definitely a good amount of Asian food. Um, yeah. Salt Lake is drying. Yes, indeed. Salt Lake is, uh, Great Salt Lake is pretty close to where I live. And it's not, like, anything special. But, you know, it is unique. In terms of geography, it is pretty unique. I wouldn't call it, like, the fifth wonder of the world or anything like that. But it is cool. But I wouldn't say it's a tourist destination. Really what uh, Utah has is incredible skiing. Utah has absolutely in incredible uh, skiing and uh, beautiful national parks. Free salt. <laughs> free salt. All you have to do to get free salt, my man, is to play Celeste. That's all you need for your free salt, my dude. <laughs> Just play a little Celeste. I'll get you. That'll get you all the salt you want. That'll get you all the salt you want. I said a zero diversity or geography. That's too bad. I'm sorry, S Glass. Yeah, man. It is very cool. Utah is Utah's a cool place. Yeah. It has a bad reputation, but it is actually really cool. 
especially if you're into nature or or outdoor stuff. Gimmicks of this game, you two? Uh, yeah, like mechanics. We've got like an air dash. You get two at the very end, the final chapter. You get two of them. Um, you got a wall jump. You can't. You run out of stamina. Uh, you die in one hit every time. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what. I don't know how to describe it. Gimmicks. Hmm. Uh, the story is really cool. I'll say that. The story is actually super cool in this game. I don't really want to spoil it if anybody hasn't seen it before. Um, so our girl here, Madeline, is uh, just got out of a relationship and uh, and uh, not just a relationship, but I mean she references that, but she's having uh, panic attacks and anxiety, and she's climbing the mountain here. Oh, that was really bad. I should have air dashed. She's climbing the mountain here. In Rhode Island, we call... <laughs> found a water fountains, we call them bubblers. <laughs> I've, heard the, I've heard that before. I've heard of bubblers before. And she's... Uh, the story is actually legitimately cool in this game. I have to say, and I, I really mean that. It is very cool. Uh, would anyone break up with a girl who can defy the laws of physics? <laughs> I think it's the mountain. Uh, my man, I think the mountain has given her these powers. Just like it's allowed her to see... Uh, just like the mountain has allowed her to see... Her... Uh, the bad parts of herself in the uh, reflection. Yeah. <laughs> Not even... I don't think that's weird. I don't think bubblers is weird. Say heave me. You call milkshakes what? Cabinets? What? You call milkshakes cabinets? Now that I didn't know. Rhode Island has a state park, doesn't it? Doesn't Rhode Island have a national park or a state park? So it's obviously, if, if you're not from the United States, you probably, if you don't know U.S. geography, Rhode, not, Rhode Island is the smallest state in the nation. If you don't count Washington, D.C., which we usually do not count Washington, D.C. Look at this little funky room here. What do I do here? Pop. Like that. Pop. Like that. Pop. Ugh. Population 13. No, it's not 13. <laughs> Call milkshakes cabinets. There's more than 13 people. <laughs> right. And hey, it's maybe a small state, but it has just as many Senate uh, representatives as as Texas. So there's that. The boss at the end of this is ridiculously annoying too. By the way, the end of this level is super annoying. I'm just saying it is. Oh, yeah, and I've totally forgot. What's my least favorite part of this? One of my least favorite parts of this game? Every time you hit a freaking crystal, you get a screen shake. So that's annoying. If you've noticed, if you, if you've noticed that the screen shakes, that is not glitch. That is intended. I do not have any idea why they do that. <laughs> Representatives, not so much. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was just trying to be nice. You know, Utah doesn't have very many representatives either. Actually, Utah is quite a small population state, too. So, in terms of population. <laughs> uh, but in terms of, like, cuisine, uh, we're not really known for very much in terms of cuisine in Utah. But like I said, we've got a lot of Latinos, a lot of Latinos. Any 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 uh 
any state, especially in the Southwest, but not just the Southwest, if you're talking like Florida too, any, but specifically any U.S. state that's in the South or the Southwest, Utah is in the Southwest, uh, has a big Latino population, so we have a lot of really good Mexican food for sure. Um, yeah, we got, we got a bunch of, we got some cool things going on here in our state. But I'd say I'm most proud of Utahns for our national parks and our wildlife. Like I said, this boss, pretty obnoxious. They've definitely upped the difficulty here. Let's let this guy hop over us up here. There we go. Ah, oh, and then I missed Holy Homes, and then I missed the uh, easy jump. The rage is building. The rage is building in the dark side of the force. <laughs> this guy's wiping my face. Like, ridiculously. This guy is not messing around. This guy is not screwing around right now. It's actually kind of embarrassing, but oh well. Bleah. This guy is not effing around. Gotta go. See you later, Blue. Get some rest, my man. And I'll uh, hopefully I'll see you around. No, man. <laughs> that Dax. Double jump, air dash, what else? Uh, we actually don't have a double jump. There's no double jump. There's an air dash, and there's a double air dash when you get to the final level. That's pretty much it, my man. You can wall, uh, you can, uh, you can wall cling. You can wall cling every time you touch the ground. Uh, every time you touch the ground, you too. You get a. Every time you touch the ground. You get a. Uh, you get your air dash back. Oh, but does it have interesting ones? Is it a platformer? As much as it's about story? Yeah, it, it does have a great story. Yeah, which is one of the reasons why it makes this game amazingly unique. And not only that, the platforming, while very difficult, especially at first while you get to learn the mechanics, um, while very difficult and very simple, um, incredibly addictive. incredibly addictive platforming yeah very 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 fun especially the more and more you play the game yeah very very fun it must have taken me I'm trying to remember how long this took me to beat the first time I came through here it looks, I don't know, this might look fairly easy, and to some of you it probably is going to be easier than others. Whoa, that was close. But, uh... Gameplay is king. How does it play? Amazing, you two. Yeah. Plays great. Feels awesome. There's only a couple of things I wish they would change about it. Um, I've played probably about 20 hours of the game total. Maybe a little longer, and I still haven't completed all of the optional content. There is a lot of optional content. 
here. So while the main storyline is not super, super long, it's going to take you a long time on your first playthrough to get it. Those three chapters that I just beat probably took me somewhere in the neighborhood of three hours. Maybe a little less than three hours. Maybe more like two hours or two and a half. I'd have to look at the... Honestly, I'd have to look at all of the... I'd have to look at the VODs, but it probably took me more than two hours to beat those. I think it's fair to say it took me at least two hours to beat those three chapters. So, Yep, very responsive. There's, uh, there's some things I don't like about it, but not many. Not many. Story's great. Oh, great. You again? The voice acting's great. The music is freaking outstanding. I would definitely recommend this game. If you like platformers, 100% you should get it. You again. I'll just show you one of the cutscenes. Well, I didn't expect to see you up here. I'm glad you're still in one piece. I usually skip these, but... I made it to Oshiro and Amita Hotel. Oh, I met him all right. He chased me out of there. After I cleaned up a bunch of junk for him. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a fun morning. Oshiro is a lost soul, dear. That place is much more than just a hotel for him. No, no, yeah, please, S Glass. These are great questions. Please, uh, please, uh, keep asking me questions, my dude. Doesn't bother me at all. That does not bother me one bit. Ask as many questions as you like. Oh, I didn't even see those spikes. Yeah, and that's why I'm here, right? Why else would I be here? Happy to. Happy to answer as many questions as I can. Oops. These stupid clouds. These are the bane of my existence. <laughs> anybody who... Anybody who saw me do the B-sides knows how painful those stupid clouds make me rage. Oh my god. <laughs> Del wind. And now the other side. Wind. Oh, oh, yeah, we got it. Okay, I was scared there for a second. <laughs> Let's switch bodies next to you two. <laughs> what? I'm <laughs> wondering. We're going to get the bad ending. Um, uh, we're definitely going to get the bad ending if I do finish the game tonight. Which I don't know if I will be able to finish it tonight. But I'm going to try. We're going to get the bad ending for sure. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Definitely. We're going to get the bad ending for sure. That's uh, all determined by how many strawberries you get. So you made a Freaky Friday reference? Oh, my bad. My bad, homie. Can I use this? Yeah, we can do this. Did I mess up you guys? My bad, dude. My bad. Love the music. My gosh. Strawb that was the first strawberry. Lame. That's it. Is this the way to go? Whoopsies. Freaky Friday reference. Nice, dude. Box thing. Oh, yeah. The mechanics are cool for sure, dude. They give you... Uh, they give you new uh, mechanics every world, and quite a few of them, in fact. Quite a few new mechanics in every world. Quite a few. You, you saw the wind here. We also have the bubbles and the clouds. These are all new. Lots of cool mechanics. In every world. Poop. 
This whole thing was for a strawberry, really? Progression is cool. Yeah, that whole thing was for a strawberry, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, that's pretty easy strawberry to get, but doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, I like it a lot. I'm a, f I'm a big fan of this game. Absolutely. Big, fat fan. Like the Isaac item. Big, beautiful fly. BBF. I am a fan. Right. Is this the way? Whoa. That's maybe the way. This feels like the way. Do I know the way? All that for a strawberry? That wasn't the way. That was not the way. <laughs> okay, how about right up here, perhaps? Is dish the way? Tis not. Man, they're giving me all sorts of strawberries. I want to just be the main game. Can I do that? Is that possible? Can you let me do the main game? Secret here. Un secreto. Yeah, the boxes are cool. This looks correct. That's sweet. I like that. This looks correct, I think. Yeah, I don't I can't even describe how long this section took for me. Hours. Hours. Strawberries are a scourge. <laughs> yeah, strawberries are cool in this game actually. They're a fun challenge. A nice difficult challenge. But completely unnecessary unless you want to get optional content. Which I say, I would say definitely go for them. If it's, it's not my first playthrough, but I'd say go for them. Yeah. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, there's a platform up there. It was camouflaged. It was camouflaged. You guys probably saw that, huh? God of War stream when it drops. You know it, my dude. Absolutely. And I was thinking about, you know, I was thinking, do I want to get, uh... I was thinking, do I really want to buy Far Cry? And I've never played any of the Far Cries. I think the answer is probably no, unfortunately. I don't know. Maybe it's going to be really good. Who knows? Definitely you two. 100% I'm going to be doing uh, God of War. Which is what, April? I can't remember. Is it late March? I can't remember exactly. Man, I keep missing this. The wind is making that jump more difficult. What do you know? I did it. <laughs> 100%. Oops, got to go up there. Silly me. Yeah, you can see now you can see the uh, game is starting to pick up a little bit in difficulty. Ninja Gaiden 2. <laughs> yeah. You can see now that the game is starting to ramp up a little bit in difficulty. It's not. It's still nothing crazy. This is not that bad at all compared to the later puzzles in the game. But it's start. You can see it's. They're starting to add a little bit of difficulty here. For sure. Mm hmm. Just a little bit. How are you doing? Another late night run? Yeah, I'm just playing my second playthrough of Celeste. And uh, enjoying it so much. 
that I wanted to uh, play it again. This time without worrying about all the stupid optional content. It's not stupid, actually. I shouldn't say that. It's real fun. It's just hard as balls. Yeah, country, Donkey Kong Country 2. Yeah. Gusty Glade. That's right, my man. DK2. That's a fun game. It's an awfully fun game. <laughs> Jimmy Churries. <laughs> Jimmy, Ch Jimmy Churi's green sauce. Oh, what's that? I don't even know what that is, dude. Oh, I have to. What do I have to ride this whole thing all, all the way over? Looks like it. Yeah. Crazy. Someone at my door. <laughs> Ding dong. No, <laughs> that's the game unlocking things for me. <laughs> It's the game unlocking stuff for me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> They're making it a bit more difficult. Ding dong. Wow. That's hard. You gotta get there fast. Day night, late night Skyrim none. You're just here for a visiting. Well, thanks for stopping by, dude. Appreciate it. Thank you much. Oh, jeez. I gotta get that quick. I gotta get that one quick. Gotta use my air dash. Get up there fast. Get up there fast. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, man. This, uh, I really like the main story content of Celeste a lot, ah, a lot more than the, hey Ray, welcome back, I remember you, how are you doing? More than the B-sides, the B-sides are just brutal. Man, that actually is kind of hard. By the way, I wonder if I can get over here and get back in time. Uh, this part's not the hard part. Um, it's the second section. Let's see. Yeah, this is definitely the hardest room so far that they've given us. What's going on? How are you doing? Oh, yeah, we can make it up here. Ah. Hey, T-Bro, good morning. Ah, uh, yeah, we failed. Um, I need to uh, jump off here and then run up to that, run up to that switch fast enough to get it. It's actually kind of difficult. It's actually sort of hard. This room. It's good. I like difficult rooms. No. Yes, I got caught. <laughs> Somebody is not at my door. Nope. It's just the the game doing its thing. Hey, 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 what do you know? What do you know? I don't know why I screwed that up. That's not that hard. I'm just a scrub, apparently. Just a scrub a double loss. Good morning, T-Bro. How you doing, man? You doing good? Playing a little Celeste second playthrough. Enjoying it. As I definitely really like the uh I definitely really like the B sides. Ah Oh, excuse me, I really like the main story content. The, uh... Chimichurri. Is that right? Ugh, stupid wind. I think we're pretty close to finishing the chapter, though, by the way. 
which is not bad. It's I'm not winning any speedrun records. People can beat this game in like 30 minutes, which is absolutely amazing to me, by the way. Oh, there's a secret. Uh, am I streaming as much as I can before the shows I have to go to? And definitely. Yeah, man. Yep, I got uh, six gigs in six days. One day off. So, for sure, I'm trying to stream as much as I possibly can. Yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah. Because, uh... I'm going to not be uh, able to stream very much next week, which is sad. I'll miss you guys. For sure. I hope you have a wonderful week. What's the band like? My, the people in the band, they're great. I've got a, a former metal guitar player. He like... I'm not even kidding. He used to be like a former like crazy metal, you know, guitar player. And... Uh, and uh, now he plays with us. And he also plays with his metal band as well. And then I have a cello player who also makes cellos. Which is freaking awesome. So she, her name's Melissa. She makes cellos. And then I would say the two people who brought us all together. Um, their names are Cecily and Kate. And they are a married uh, lesbian couple. Absolutely incredible musicians and super nice people. Just the kindest nicest people you've ever uh do i ever hook up with friends <laughs> do i ever hook up with fans no dude i'm not uh i'm not a partier man i'm an old man who used to be a teacher <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you mean like do i ever like do i have like no <laughs> oh that we almost made that by the way i'm trying to figure out what's the best way to do this here probably go like this. Ah. This is actually legitimately quite difficult, by the way. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't hook up with fans. And not a proposition. Yeah, I figured you were not propositioning me for some action, bro. Don't worry. <laughs> cool name, right? Yeah, her name's Cess. <laughs> no, I don't know. If I, maybe if I was a little younger, I'd be up in that business, but... Nope, that's just not the kind of guy I am, my dude. <laughs> it's funny, though. Oh, what hit me there? Was it the spikes? We obviously figured that out. That was obviously much better, by the way. Ah. <laughs> you would have seen. Would you? <laughs> no. That's that's not my deal. <laughs> that's just not who I am. <laughs> I'm an old man, former teacher. Nah. The wind keeps carrying you. Yeah, man. It's a hard little challenge here. This game is hard. Uh, I'd say even harder than, uh, I'd say this game is even harder. Not right now. This is not so bad. This is pretty easy, actually. Uh, but I would say this game is even harder than, uh, Donkey Kong Country. And that game is really hard. I've, I've beaten uh, all three of those. This part's pretty easy. I'm just a scrub. I'm just a scrub. Ah, I gotta make an air dash out of that jump. Not straight up in the air. I'm just being a scrub a double -less. But I still really enjoy this game, by the way. There we go. Have you not already cleared the game? I have. That's why it says, uh, Hey, Josephus. Second playthrough on the title of the video, my dude. I have indeed. I haven't beaten the entire game. Uh, there's uh, some optional content. I have not completed. Uh, but I don't know if I'll ever be able to beat some of the optional content. It's that difficult. I wish I could.
There may be some optional content I don't know if I'll ever be able to complete. <laughs> Who is that? You two? <laughs> you two? <laughs> nah, I can teach him about Binding of Isaac. <laughs> I can do Binding of Isaac lessons, that's about it. <laughs> you goose. I have indeed. I paid uh, full price for this game. I intend to continue to play it. My man. Yeah, not for the rest of my life or anything. It's just, it's really fun, too, by the way. Celeste is great. This game is excellent. Especially the main story campaign. Cursed Eye is good with Incubus. Is it really? <laughs> I did not know. <laughs> Bingo. Chapter 4 completed. Nice. Halfway through the game. Actually, more than halfway through. I am going to grab some coffee. And so, yeah, your band sounds great. Thank you. Yeah, we're uh, we're called Wintergrain. I'm not here to promote. We're only, we're not playing. Uh, we're going to try to do some touring in the summer. Uh, we play folk music and country. Americana. Not really country. More like folk Americana. There's some country sounds, though, for sure, but um, really uh, lovely people. And we're very new. We only started playing a few months ago. so. But we sold out some gigs and had some fun, and I uh, will be back playing with them on Saturday. So be back in one minute. Thank you, guys. See you in just a sec. If you're out of here, have a good night. Cursed Eye and Incubus. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a good combo at all for me. How many deaths did I have? A lot more this time than I did. Yeah, I was going to say, we had a, we're definitely increasing our deaths. As you can see from this cool little stat line. 7, 7, 40, 70. And this one's uh, kind of an obnoxious little level too. Climbing occurs exhaustion. Get your feet on the ground, as they say. Get your feet on the ground. The temple. The temple. Mm. 
Wah. 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 Is this uh, optional stuff? No, I don't think so. Well, boy, am that was just a Hadouken right there. A double Hadouken. Let's try going this way first. Let's try this way first. Locked door. Hmm. Gonna need a key. Gonna need a key. A key. What's down here? A berry. Another berry. Another berry. There's just berries everywhere. Berries, berries everywhere. Poops. You found some songs? Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the girls uh, recorded an album last summer, I think, before I joined the band. Yep. Yeah, they did some. They're doing a good job. We're writing uh, new stuff, S class, quite a bit of new stuff. Yep. Berries, berries everywhere. I don't want the berries. I want to know where to go. <laughs> That's what I want. Ooh, that's a hard jump. I think this is probably optional. We're still good tracks. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got some videos. We got also have an Instagram. So with not very many followers by any means, but uh, we are on uh, on Instagram as well. And I am on some videos there and in, on YouTube and, and other places. So... More berries. I don't. I don't want the berries. So, hopefully, we'll be going back to do another recording session sometime, where I will be a part of it. That would be definitely something I would like in the future, for sure. I wonder if we need to go back left. Maybe we need to go this way. Doesn't look like it. Looks like just a berry. Yeah. Where am I going? I don't want berries. I don't want no stinking berries. What's down here? Just death? Hmm. Just straight up death, huh? Well, let's let's keep climbing. I feel like this this section down here may be just optional stuff. What if I... How do I... Can I go like this? Where do I go? Where do I go, game? Where do I go? Hook a brother up. It's a puzzle level. It's a puzzle. I mean, this is definitely the way to go. Experience Cursed Eye. Incubus Synergy B4 No Teleportation. No, I have not. Now I know. See? You guys are teaching me. You guys are teaching me. We need a key. We need a key. Now where the heck are we going to get that? Where are we going to get that key, my dudes? I feel like somebody helped me with this last time. Oh, uh, if we could jump down here, we might be able to get up there. Yeah, maybe that's the way. Yeah, I bet you this is the way. Do I know the way? Not really, but... Is this the way? Or is that for a berry? This is looking hella berry. This is looking Halle Berry. Ooh, baby, what a fox. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Yeah, this is looking Halle Berry. 
Oh, I see a key. Oh. I see a key. So let's go this way first. Yeah, I bet this is the way. Yeah, let's, let's go like that. I was there, told you about it, got you surprised that it worked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my man. Welcome to uh, welcome to the life of the Vita. Welcome to the life of the Vita. Mem trying to memorize all these synergies with a bad, with a not the best of all memories. Yeah. Welcome to my life. <laughs> Come on, man! Give me a break. These are not my favorite uh, puzzles. Give me the platforming. I've, I've, that's another thing. I mean, this is cool. It's a cool little. I like. I like that they are changing it. You got the little. You got your little bubbles here. By the way, these are absolute nightmares. In uh... all right, let's wait. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Really, just missed that. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. God, I'm so. I'm so bad. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Hey, hallelujah. 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 Now, where do we take this key? Je ne sais. Now where do we take this key? Maybe this way? Maybe this away? Now nah, that looks like a berry. Mm -hmm. Up there, perhaps? Haruka. Uh, I think we just figured this was berry too. Very spectacular. This way? No. Maybe down here? Yeah, there we go. Thank you, S-Glass, my dude. Thank you, my man. I knew there was a locked door sign. I just couldn't remember where it was. Oh no, he's trapped. Let's get him. Theo is trapped. Oh no. Axion bird stream. Maybe. Maybe, my man. I'm never saying never. Never saying never. At this point, though, I've got so many games lined up on the docket. Plus, I just got, uh, I just bought, uh, got so many games on the docket, and I just bought, uh, I just bought, um, Secret of Mana that I don't know if that's going to be happening. I don't know, though. We shall see. Okay. There's a wall jump we need to do. Oh, easy. Constance, long time no see, man. Hey, yeah, welcome back, Constance. I'm playing Celeste, which is a platform that came about a m came out about a month ago. It's a very cool uh, indie platformer. Very fun little game here. Very fun, challenging game. Yeah. I'm just doing the main storyline right now. There are, uh, the bulk of the game, though, the, 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 uh, major bulk of the game, the hours that you can put into this game actually come from optional, more difficult content, which I'm probably not going to do on today's stream, just because it's ridiculous. A little bit painful, in fact. 
a little bit ridiculous. What's going on, man? What's new with you? Thoughts on fighting games? I like them. I'm bad at them. The only fighting game I'm good at is sort of not even a fighting game. It's called Super Smash Bros. Melee. It's the only game I'm really decent at. Alright, we need a key. Let's go find another key. Another key. Yeah, I like I like fighting games. I like watching them. I like watching tournaments, too. I like watching fighting game tournaments. Strawberry, no thanks. Yeah, how about you? You like fighters? I think fighters are pretty cool. I think the fighting games are pretty fun. There's our key. There's our key. How do we get in there? You got Spelunky? Nice, man. Spelunky's great. Super difficult. You having fun with it? You having fun? Are you having a good time with Spelunky? It's pretty cool, dude. Yeah, Spelunky's awesome. Hope you enjoy it. Ooh, that's so hard. Street Fighter 1, my dude. Oh, you're a beast. I see how it is. You're one of them beasties. Haven't made it to, f to the jungle yet, but it's good. Yeah, isn't it a great game? For sure, man. Spelunky's awesome. Yeah, I've got to play some more Spelunky sometime. That game is really good. But so brutal. So brutal. Spelunky looks better than Shovel Knight, in your opinion? Oh, I think Spelunky and Shovel Knight are awesome. I actually haven't played Shovel Knight. I'm going to, though. Absolutely going to buy such Shovel Knight for sure. For sure. Yeah, if you've never played Spelunky, really great little game. Absolutely. I've only beaten it, I think, twice or once or twice in the entire... In the entirety of my Spelunky career, which has been pretty short-lived. Pretty short-lived. Name sounds silly. Yeah, it's uh, Spelunky is a reference to uh, cave... Uh, Spelunky is a reference to cave uh, Spelunking. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Oh, Shovel Knight. Oh, Shovel Knight's badass. Shovel Knight's like... Like a Mega Man meets DuckTales meets... Uh... What else? Uh, meets Zelda, kind of. It's kind of like Zelda 2. It's not like Zelda 1. It's more like Zelda 2. Yeah, it's super cool. It's almost three for you, buddy. Well, you can get to bed if you need to. I don't know how much longer I'm going to play. A little while longer. For sure. Hey, Nightmare Frontier. Right here. Thoughts on the DuckTales remake? I never played it, but I want to. I played the NES version when I was a kid. It's so hard. Pufferfish. Yeah. Good night, everyone. 
Thank you. Yeah, I hope you enjoy Celeste S Glass. Thanks, dude. It is a neat game. It is very neato. Hey, where are we? What'd you do to Theo? You think I'm doing this? I'm not. No cutscenes, please. <laughs> No, I think he means the... I think he means the game. There's a Splunky game. It was for the NES. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's a fun game. When I was a kid, I played the crap out of that game. And man, it's hard. It's really hard. And I'll, I'll probably play the remake at some point. I'll probably play the remake at some point. Hey, what do I do here? Oh, I just land and grab. Okay, never mind. There we go. <laughs> oh, no, this is a long... This was, uh... This game, uh... Don't worry, man. This game's an old, pretty old game. Yeah, you got nothing to worry about, man. You got nothing to worry about. It's another remake. Kind of like Secret of Mana, except for a different kind of game. It's one reason why I want to play Shovel Knight. Actually, is because it has some, it has some, definitely has some uh, Ducktales influence. Very much has some uh, Duke Tales. A you who and good luck Tales. A you who. Keep looking at your door, Vita. <laughs> you do? What's up, man? You all right? Oh, because of the doorbell. Oh, okay. I was like, what is he talking about? Yeah, it's the key. Uh, it's the key thing here, yeah. Ah. We're getting pretty close to the end of this chapter, although there's still more after this. Oh, I didn't mean to climb on that wall. Um, this this chapter and the B-sides is super, super hard, you two. Oh, my God. I haven't shown that to you yet. This B-sides chapter is really, really brutal. Really brutal. Is this all in my head? Nope. Tis not, my lady. Tis not. It's the mountain. The mountain is playing tricks on you, Miss Madeline. Love this. Yeah, the main storyline in this game, the main story... And the difficulty is still here. Like, there's plenty of good... There's plenty of difficulty in this game without having to go bananas on those optional quests. Oh, man. Did the game just crash? Oh, well. Well...